What is going on YouTube? This is John from Fatic coming to you with the latest way Fatic War Recap. This is a 134 to 133 50 versus 50 war win against Cold September in an arranged war. Uh, pretty heavy breakdown on this. Uh, let me pop up a war match really fast. Uh, the breakdown was 7 20 23. Uh, so it was a crazy war. Um, we didn't really have much in the way of Tunnel 9 Scouts, and that showed. Uh, these guys decided they're going to fight the uh, Mass Miner and everything else uh, attack meta. So we end up failing three dips because of the clan castles. Well, actually, one was a bitch fail, fresh bitch fail on a base. I would have rather uh, minored. That was my fail. I, I have two out of the three fails, unfortunately. Um, but uh, I did I did get to pick up a sweet trick, too be able to allow myself to minor a little bit better. Got two successful minor dips and then misplaced poisons on triple baby dragon dip. And the, the, like the number 18 base had triple baby dragons. So that was crazy. It's, these guys were set up to fight the mass mine. <coughs> mass miner. And I'm curious to see if that's going to lead to a shift in the, uh, the clan castle meta, which would be a very welcome one, I think. Uh, but you can't count on always doing that because, uh, Normally, bases are going to get scouted. So, uh, I know we got some monster percentages here. What do we got? We got Smokey there with a 72. Uh, and we have a 74. So, we're going to watch those two raids. <clears throat> and this race is, this raid is, raid is, cra raid is crazy. It's, it's just like a Hail Mary, I think. And, uh, it, we saw, I think, two or three of these hits, and then finally it paid off. So, as you see, there's just a whole bunch of golems getting dropped in the end. We're wall breaking in, so we're saving a spell, sending extra wall breakers that just barely beat the eagle. Under double rage, so they're clearing out a lot of percentage there. Having to deal with a CC hound, and a good clump of them's coming to the right. You would think Queen's going to get drawn to the left, but some Valkyries go ahead to start creating a funnel. Queen's going to chase around some uh, pups, and you can see the Hail Mary part of this. Fortunately, the, king, the, the Barbarian King pushes ahead, and for some reason he decides he's going to backtrack to go after the Expo. I don't think there's any skeletons that were there, but Queen's going to lock onto that clan cat, or that town hall, take it out. She's still got an ability to pop. She pops in, or hops into the corridor there. Pops her ability. She takes out the final couple of buildings that she's got access to. Monster percentage on this. Uh, would have really gone a long way to win this if uh, we kept, if we had tied, so awesome raid to Smokey that was actually Blaine that was covering last second, so Blaine gets props, I think it was Blaine's play in the first place because uh, I know his 10 was in here um, alright, number 7, we got another monster by Mr. Freeze and this is kind of like the same setup here, but I uh, this is the first I'm seeing this raid, too. Uh, as you see, he's bringing the dragons on this. One, two, ground expos. Three, all four expos are grounded. And all these air defenses are in a row. So he's got to have something in mind to take care of all that. Honestly, he could probably spam Lon Luthness as well. So Queen of Gola, we're going to break in with some wall breakers, some bowlers. And under a rage, and they should clear out a good corner of this, and probably even get up to that air defense or air sweeper. But that's going to take out two air defenses there. In fact, they're already down. And AQ is going to go up and be able to get that sweeper, no problem. Pops her ability, takes a hut. Next building's the air sweeper. Two shots, it's gone. So that side was a success. He could probably bum rush this other side with the uh, dragons. So I'm not sure exactly how he did it, but there we go. We got Kane down, some bowlers, still some more wall breakers. So he's got to be breaking in here. And that's something you want to do on these raids. You just want to bring extra wall breakers. When I'm farming, I with these uh, level five, uh, level six wall breakers, I usually send five at the wall at once, uh, just to protect against uh, point defenses that aren't uh, tanked, and it does happen quite a bit. So. Bowlers get a nice little push up there. I don't think they're going to get the sweeper. No, the sweeper's still standing. Uh, Barbarian's going to drag that hound out of the way, and we're just going to send some dragons. They got, they do have a uh, sweeper to deal with. Maybe the skeleton spell gets used on it. 
but we get the rage spell down, start working everybody through. Still got a poison quake and a skeleton spell to work with. <laughs> get another rage down. Uh, freeze spell as well, so he can freeze that uh, sweeper, but he decides he's going to freeze the inferno instead. Probably to use the skeletons. No, the skeletons are still in the bag. I don't know where he's putting those things. But when these dragon rays can get pulled off, they are a huge percentage. Easily. There you go, we're at 56%, so he's going to sure drop the skeletons on the outside to do cleanup, which... Total swag on it. He could have probably dropped them over on the left-hand side there to get more buildings with the skeleton spell. Even more percentage. But the dragons are also working on that area pretty well, too. So we can speed up. Because the uh, eagle just went down. He's probably going to run out of time on this raid. Yeah, it looks like he ran out of time. So, awesome hit to Mr. Freeze. And I know we've got some 10v10, so we're just going to flip on through to find them. <laughs> Peanut, we have one of our, we have uh, probably our lowest town all ten go up and get a ten v ten triple here on number eight. So, of course, Peanut is Asuka's alt, who we know is a 11, town hall eleven beast. Up uh, a see, they had a hole in this base, so easily exploited. Drop a poison, drop a rage. Uh, did you put some Valks in there to take advantage of that rage too? I don't think there was any Valkyries in there. We sent a couple balloons that are being tanked to take out that uh, bottom archer tower. AQ comes in. And uh, we had some guys from uh, Reddit Elfino with us uh, for this war, and uh, one of them just failed his wall breakers there. You see there, he pops, drops the wall breaker in to get rid of that uh, small bomb. Queen is in, so the wall breakers come in and break the proper wall. Queen's going to easily take that Inferno. Queen can reach it from the outside. This is really one of the, a terrible base. So, sorry, uh, Fra. But uh, Inferno reachable from outside and hole in the base. You know, we're going to be able to take advantage of this. And it just goes to show you that the top bases real, still need to take care that they can't be 10 v 10 So... Starts peppering in some balloons real late on the hounds. Like, it doesn't even matter. She's going to get two air defenses. Uh, Haste is down. Freeze is down on a quad Tesla Inferno. He drops the rage spell. This, this is a... I'm sorry, man. This is just a really bad base. Ground Expo. You know, under rage, they go and pick up the other uh, Expo. And under haste, they're just going to power, the balloons are just going to power through the rest. Queen's going to just barely survive here. But she will be ready to start helping clean up. We got skeletons chasing the balloons. A uh, couple balloons sneaking up on that archer tower. Way too many for the archer tower to take down. And this is a good game here. So, nice hit to Peanut. Way to exploit a really bad base. Sorry, I try, I, I try to be a little bit nicer, but that was just a really bad one. <clears throat> and, and it happens. I mean, I just caught, I just had a guy that uh, posts, because I, I lead the base building team for Emphatic Elite now, and I had a guy just post one where you can reach the Inferno from the outside. It's like, you, no, you can't do that. Um, what was that one? That was Mark. X is real close. But he did get a six, uh, another, a uh, triple at least, with dragons. I think this was his first attack. <laughs> there we go with the hiccups. So Keen is down to funnel Queen in. We got a wizard working to push her into this air defense and take out <coughs> a couple of these. She's going to leave the Tesla's up, but she's going to take out. Three or four air defenses. Plus, the Keen's going to jump in and take out another air defense at least. We get some bowlers going. So that might help push to get the thir a third air defense. Queen. Yeah, so two air defenses gone. Oh, no. We, we still leave one up. Uh, are we going to get the final one? It is pretty messed up. But I don't think we're going to get it. 
so we get a baby dragon to start down to start phone and that's another cool thing was uh we had the dl war going on the the Ch cwl finals and uh for invite and it was really interesting to see how dark looters handles their dips uh balloons i don't think are going to make it to that inferno they just barely do and we have one that survives off that initial push but yeah the balloon the dragon combo just looks so fearsome right now that i think these stacked air defenses are probably going to be doomed even at a 10v10 level, as you see here, <coughs> we're hasting in a bunch of balloons to go get it. Heal spell is down. S balloons that were about dead are now healed back up, and they're helping to take out those expos. Dragons get stuck on the hound. They're finishing up the pups, and then they're still going to contribute f to clean up at least. But that baby dragon that was at the be very beginning of the raid, enough juice to finish it. You know, nothing stopping this raid. Great job to AW. Um, and yeah, I, I, I seriously think that these uh, dragons are going to start tearing stuff up on these stacked air defenses where you can get at least three of them. Because there's not much effort to haste some balloons in there, and nobody's bringing just nothing but dragons. Alright, we had in and out Former 10v11 specials coming here with the Mass Miner. It does not look like the queen is going to be aided with healers in any way on a walk. So let's see where he attacks his base from. I don't think I saw this base, or this raid go on. <sighs> I had my cousin get married on the Friday, so I really was not too engaged with this war. I had siblings staying at my house and smoking a pork shoulder. In fact, I thought I was going to be out with injury because uh, I forgot to put on nylon glo the nitrile gloves before... Uh, going to handle the pork and end up dipping eight of my fingers into uh, very hot pig juices with cotton gloves on that were just they're, they're under the gloves to uh, try to block some of the heat so I can work with my hands and since I forgot to put the nitrile gloves on there I had the extra couple seconds there trying to get the gloves off while my hands are burning from being in 200 degree juices so I thought I was going to be out Fortunately, I didn't uh, have any blister or anything. It just was a couple hours that I really couldn't use my fingers. So, at least I got to participate still and didn't have to swag five attacks. Because I had already done one Town Hall 9, but I had four Town Hall 10 hits to do. And look at those miners. They're just sweeping on through. They, I'm tell, I'm tell, I, I really feel that 92... 91, 92 bases are just going to be cannon fodder to this attack, along with Bowitch. Um, just going to be too hard for them to defend. And that's really where it should be, I think. Uh, those bases should be the ones that you see getting tripled, with, even with attacks like this. Uh, they're going to be difficult to defend. And I, I think that's a good spot for Myers, because you, you can't use that attack against a uh, 94, 95. It's, it's going to run out of steam. BJM Ali with another base that's going to take out, or another attack style that will take out these lower weight bases. Get a dough with the hobo. We got plenty of bowler funnel going on here. A lot of free percentage here. Not that the percentage matters, but being able to, uh. Wonder, is this the, the attack that, uh. I can't remember if this was the first attack that Peanut did. That, uh, we had a really good go below, go, or go below. Somebody tried to do. I don't think so. I think Queen's actually going to be saved for cleanup, which is a great call. Because with the Hound Loon CC, you get the bowlers right in there. They're going to go right for Queen. Everybody's going to go right after that Inferno, no problem. And make a nice L shape for the Hogs to run through. So, Queen is still not deployed. We start sending the Hogs from uh, 10, 11 o'clock and just loading them up there so they work through those defenses as fast as they can. One, two swings are done. And since they're dealing with nothing but a uh, point defense there, he's delaying the heal spell. Finally drops it. Drops a freeze on the Expo and the uh, Inferno. High value freeze. They're going to work through that Inferno three hits. Get on the or expo. Get on the inferno. That's going to take only one hit. 
and then they're going to start working on through. And we get the hogs sort of thinning out. There's Queen finally. She, she went down. She did some back-end defensive cleanup, too. Hopefully you guys saw that I was answering a question since we are all working to analyze this uh, Dark Looter's dip. Especially since all these ba being such a heavy breakdown, it was hard to get Town Hall scouts on bases that weren't 10v10 uh, earmarked bases. So, um, nice shot. The Hogs are going to go finish up on the Clan Castle. But uh, it, it just really led to, it's with, with the bases being so severely affected with the uh, clan castle, what can we do to get this better? And I think that dragon hit's probably going to be the answer. So maybe I'll do a video on uh, on the science of it, like I'm planning on doing with Witch Slap. Was that it? Two. Three. Yeah, we had four 10v10s. Uh, right? Yep, 4 out of 15 10v10s. They got 3. And we have a 64% uh, dip rate or hit rate on the 9v9, so we're just going to go through a few of them. Um, I don't know how well Kevin did. Kevin was a little upset I showed his uh, witch slap last week, so thankfully I don't stumble upon another Kevin witch slap. <laughs> He does, he's got an awesome variety of raids here, so. While it was funny that he, <laughs> he did have a Witch Slap available for me to recap, uh, ideally you generally see him walking the Hounds of the Lalo. And that baby dragon held everybody in the poison just long enough. I think that was pr probably a pretty fair trade. Not going to get all the skeletons, though, unfortunately. It's times like that where you kind of want to... Uh, Valkyrie in your camp, because the Valkyrie will just take them all out one swing. Baby Dragon's going to take most of them out with a, uh, uh, take like three shots from the Baby Dragon. Yeah, I think I'm the only unapologetic Witch Slapper in the clan. Mostly I think it's funny. We're going to try to get some of these Elefino folks in here, too, with this uh, recap. So I'm probably going to skip over Elefino and new folks. So Kevin, sorry the rest of you guys, but Kevin will probably be the only guy who's been in the clan for a while that I show. So I want to give these other guys their time in the spotlight. Uh, Loons are doing their best job to avoid that expo, but the expo's on ground, so... It's kind of crazy how many ground expos we, I saw this war, now that I think about it. You know, maybe they're all just too worried about Witch Slap, I don't know. This isn't a base I'd ever Witch Slap. I, don't, I really don't like the... Well, I mean, a jump spell up here, you could probably get through the entire base <laughs> easily. But it's just such a weird layout, I don't... I don't really like it. Just now saying that, I kind of wish I did. All right, let's see who we got here. Pompa. I think he's a former CZ uh, X Knights player that's now with Emphatic Elite. For those of you who have not seen, we did absorb quite a few players from that clan to go into both Fury and Elite. Uh, we had a great time arranging with them when we uh, wore them in Premiere. And uh, they just became a natural fit when they uh, decided that they were going to uh, look for a merger instead of continuing CZX. So, very glad to have these guys on board. Hell, the guys that they have that were in Fury last week, actually, Emphatic Fury and uh, Elite did match up in a random war. I I'm kind of want to recap that, but I haven't had time to. I think I still have time in order to do that. Maybe I'll record it after this, but I kind of want to record another one, too. Um, but 
but the CZ, the the Fury Nine is basically smoked elites with like an eighty three percent hit rate, and I, elites just had a really bad one. So really great seeing the positive energy those those guys brought to the clan, um, along with the uh, adjusted rosters for Elite and and Fury. Uh, those guys went out to uh, really uh, make a name for themselves against Emphatic Elite and uh, did a great job. Uh, and f really, if it wasn't for the advantage that we had with uh, Hero Weights and uh, the extra 11, I think Elite would have lost that war. So, good war to you, Fury. Like I said, I'll probably recap that after I'm done with this, probably. This will be out in the next couple of days. <laughs> kind of want to go over some witch slap stuff too because uh the hit's not as simple as people make it out to be there's there is a little bit of science behind it and i'm just the man to explain it to you plus witches are great Sweeper pushes the balloons back into the uh, haste spell, so the balloons will power right on through. And this is just overkill here with the uh, balloons. He does, it does not look like he brought a skeleton spell to deal with the queen. But uh, a couple pups are on her. Uh, he must have... No, he didn't bring any wall breakers. <coughs> must have probably just knew the hounds were going to stall around to the queen area, so the pups should all get her. Alright, let's see what else we got. I only want to do like one or two more raids. Master Combo's new. I think he's another CZX Knight. I don't think I've showed him yet. I'm going to try to get to you guys here over the next uh, few weeks, or a few recaps. I'm going to try to be a little bit more regular on the recaps as well. Now that I'm just really doing base building, I feel I can help support that time. Um, yeah, it's going to be my next little adventure, is figuring out how to at least make Miner not be the go-to attack on my 92s. <laughs> so, we'll see. I have some ideas. Unfortunately, it might include a, an off CC. Which, who knows? I mean, there's there's so much you can do. Look at those bombs. That's just like a waste of bombs there, I think. Must be like a Grand Slam swing to stop the uh, bowlers. Yeah, it felt like a qu couple of these bases where they just put all their eggs in one basket. Uh, you'll see in the future. I, I actually feel the witch slap in this one. They put two giant bombs and three Teslas. In the twelve o'clock corner for and I dropped all of my witches for that flank in that spot and lost all my witches plus a healer and had major damage to the queen. It was just sick. <laughs> I had to just hit my hat for him. There's there's really nothing you can get mad about with that. You know, fresh hit, that's the ultimate troll move to uh ensure that the guy survives one hit. <laughs> and really there's just nothing. Nothing else you can say about it. it. Fair play to him. I think it was like, uh... Who did that? I gotta give the guy props on here. Baby Fat CS. Good game, man. <laughs> Got me good. Hanasek we showed already. Bobo's not familiar to me. Bobo may be from uh, Reddit Elfino, uh, another clan that we're getting along really well with. Uh, in fact, we're just trying to schedule a mixer. We're going to mix the two clans up on Thursday for uh, hopefully 50v50. Uh, balloons do not get that expo taken care of, unfortunately. Probably, I, I don't even think it was even shallow on that uh, haste spell. Uh, nice little Tesla farm up there. Probably, again, another anti-witch slap area. We'll see if any bombs pop. 
Oh yeah, that's going to be an anti-witch. Actually, that's not really anti-witch slap, though. Especially if you're like me and bring the healers. It's not going to be enough to stop them. You might lose one. Let's get this show on the road a little bit. Queen's already used her ability, so I don't think she's going to take enemy queen. But he does have a skeleton spell uh, for insurance. And this must be uh, a cleanup because he's not accounting for the clan castle. So it must have known that there's a hound in there. So we do get a rage spell down on the queen. Skeleton spell is down. We get the balloons coming into that uh, inferno. I mean, that was just a nice patience there with the hound. I, mean, I don't know how many hounds he brought, but he just let them sit for a while on that air defense. So we had three balloons. Uh, yep, he's going to use them. At least one for cleanup. <laughs> and he swags. Yep, there he goes. Nice hit, Bobo. Alright, let's see. Lord of Skies, Dex. Nishmensi Lama. I think he's in Fury now. I'm going to show it two times just because this one's running a little long. Poison's down. Healers are down. I mean, it's smart to wait on those healers to make sure that the uh, baby dragon doesn't happen to focus on them first. Because that can be destructive. Rage spells down for Queen, who's dealing with two point defenses, Keen and a Mortar. It pops the third Tesla, but uh, fortunately that wasn't up while she was dealing with everything. I'm not sure if uh, he expected her to run this way. Especially since he's putting so much falling effort down here. Queen pops her ability. And uh, Wallbreakers just barely get through. Will she go back? She does. Keen Bowlers and Jump are going down to go after Queen. Everybody but two bowlers decides they're going to walk in the golem. But that's fine. The golemite is tanking. We still got a rage or heal spell for the hogs. They're just going to work their, uh, their way on through. Great raid, Nedgemensi. I'm just going to call you Llama. JJD, Teddy Bear, Bobo again, Teddy Bear with a six pack, let's watch this one. So we got a nice little funnel going right here. Golems all gather up on a single uh, Tesla, but that's fine, funnel's already established. There wasn't much in the way over here. Easily gets all the bowlers inside. Nice little loon pathing set up by Teddy. And the hound is just, uh, Going along doing some tanking here. Looks like it didn't do all the tanking. In fact, it's totally not. But nice little job with Teddy. Good cleanup. Good war. Hope you guys had fun. Uh, and yeah, that's about all I got. Y'all, thanks for watching.